Yeah, when we speak to the, the old Lahaina and its abundance, that's often asked there, yeah, what happened to it or where is it? There's still an understanding that you need that land in order for you to exist. What home would look like to me in my Hawaii? Not dead grass, not brown land, it'd be green. I lived on Maui close to 50 years and I've never seen the, the wind in Lahaina like that. Look across the street and all the power lines hit the road. Just get out of Lahaina. Oh, the entire city? The entire city, yes. Just get out of Lahaina. There's, but I cannot get out of my door. There's flames blowing into the house. And I got a baby with me. Everything around you is on fire. There's this force of wind like nothing I've ever experienced before. You gotta find some way to get to the ocean. At the end of the day, if it happened to us, it happened to anybody. You know, and that's the, that's the shitty thing to realize, yeah? It's like, it fucking happened. And who's to blame, yeah? There's a lot of people pointing fingers, and really all we gotta do is just help. Residents were cut off from supplies and communication following last month's devastating wildfires. Some residents stepped up to the plate to help. They're delivering supplies to survivors any way they can, including on their own surfboards. <laughs> it's just, and that's just the community people. Man, it's like, communities, you, family uh, helping families. It's all grassroots. All grassroots, 100 percent. Every every person you see back here, their time is donated. Nobody gets paid. Sure. No federal aid. County. Nope. We have many hands working together to make things happen. And it just, in the light of all this, it's been the beauty. It wasn't just us, the entire community really stepped up and came together. We are just witnessing the best community efforts ever right now. Like I said, for the community first, agriculture and parks before the results. Pertaining to wherever you are, you find yourself to support an effort, it would be best in your interest and everyone else is to work within the indigenous people of that space. Um, they can definitely come from a different understanding due to the relationship, you know, reestablish the balance of the environment and the people. Give us back our water resource that is a public resource. Currently, our reliance on tourism leans heavily towards an extractive model that takes more than it gives back to our island. The most important thing we can do is fight for future generations. Like don't, don't wait till a fire burns down your hometown to decide you're going to get involved.